So MidJourney have recently updated the user interface on their account, which means some of the tips I've given in the past, such as downloading in bulk, are not that simple. You used to be able to simply go into your own feed here and sort of multiple select items, but uh, it doesn't seem to be as simple anymore. But also, when you go to the left here, archive is no longer there and people don't really know exactly where to look. But if you go to home, you'll notice there's an archive button over here in the top right. And if you want to download in bulk, simply go to your archive. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and you hit these little plus buttons here. Or you can go down the side to where you want to, which I've accidentally done. Um, I need to zoom out a little bit more. You can see these little plus buttons here. I can select certain days and now I can go to open downloader and I can download all of these in zip files. So that is now how you can download in bulk using Midjourney. So I click download and it will sort of create these zip files for me uh, and it'll pop up at any minute for me to download and I can simply click save. So that's how you can download bulk in Midjourney these days since they've updated the user layout. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can do it. It's a pretty simple process, but uh, I know a lot has been changing back here, but I'm going to do a review and see if I can find out more of these changes and a few more tips about using the MidJourney account back end. Otherwise, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon for some more AI art and MidJourney videos. Have a great day.